Hi, I'm James from Portana, and in this video I'm going to show you how you can provision a Kubernetes cluster on Amazon with EKS directly from within Portana. For this guide, I'm assuming you have Portana Business Edition installed and running, and you're logged in as an admin user. If you haven't got Portana installed yet, have a look at our install guide or documentation for help. Links are in the video description. First off, you'll need to sign up for an account with AWS if you haven't already, which you can do at aws.amazon.com. Once you've got that sorted, there's a bit of prep work you'll need to do with your AWS account. While you can use an existing IAM user to communicate with Portana, you might want to create a new user for just this purpose. The minimum IAM policies required for Portana to provision are outlined in our documentation. There's a link in the video description. Once you've got your IAM user set up, log into the AWS portal with the user and in the top right menu, the user's name, select Security Credentials. Expand the Access Keys section and click Create New Access Key. Copy the Access Key ID and the Secret Access Key that are generated. Now switch back to Portana. There's a couple of ways you can add your credentials to Portana, either on the first provision or ahead of time via the cloud settings. Since we're going to do a provision, we'll add them while we do that. Just like adding any other environment to Portana, click on Environments, then Add Environment. Select the CAS option, then click Start Wizard, then select the AWS option. Since we haven't set up our credentials yet, we'll need to do that now. Enter a name for your credentials, then paste your access key ID and secret access key from AWS into the fields and click Add Credentials. You'll now see options to configure your new cluster. Select the region for your deployment, the AMI type and instance type for the nodes, the disk size for each node, the number of nodes you need, and the Kubernetes version to deploy. You can also define groups and tags for the environment under More Settings, or you can set those later. When you're ready, click Provision Environment to start your deployment. Portainer is now talking to the AWS API to spin up your cluster with your options. Depending on the size and number of nodes, this might take a bit of time. Once the provision is complete, Portana will automatically deploy the agent to the environment and configure access. You can see the progress of the provision from the Environments page within Portana. When the deployment finishes, you'll be able to select and manage your new Kubernetes environment just as you would any other environment in Portana. And that's it, you're up and running with a brand new EKS Kubernetes cluster on Amazon, all through Portana. You'll find these instructions in text form in our documentation. Thanks for watching.